everybody, let's go over this question. So you got a nest egg of five hundred sixty-seven thousand dollars. So you save up for that. You make your age sixty-five or retirement age anyway, and it pays an APR of seven percent compounded monthly. Uh, find the monthly annuity yield for a twenty-two year annuity. So in other words, um, if you are uh, retired for 22 years, so let's say something like, you know, age uh, 65 to age um, 87. So you expect that you you will need the money until age 87, right? What would it pay? Um, and by the way, um, this is an interesting calculation, but 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 reality is a, a lot of folks are going to take out. Um, a little bit less than than how it's performing, so that it lasts uh, longer and it lasts, you know, so that it, they don't uh, it doesn't run out before they die, right? But anyway, um, so maybe five percent. And the reason I chose seven percent actually this example is because that's kind of average stock market return adjusted to inflation over the last fifty years, right? Um, but then, like I said, a lot of folks are going to try to take out maybe 5% or something like that just to keep it below the expected return so that the money doesn't run out. But using our formula, um, let's figure out what this will pay each month. Uh, so it's nest egg times R times 1 plus R to the power of T. So we need our R and our T. So the rate is going to be 0 0.07 over 12, right? which is going to be a big long decimal. And this example, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to do the exact calculation. So it's 0 0.0058333 forever. 0058333 and so on. And T is um, the length of the annuity, 22 years. Years times 12 gives the amount of months, 22 times 12 should be, oh, times, well, it should be 264 uh, months, right? 264, right? So um, that's our rate, that's our T, um, and it's, so if we take our nest egg of 567,000, times it by the rate, um, and I'm just going to do a calculator entry for the top, times by the rate, 0 0.07 over 12, right? And then times it by 1 plus r to the power of t, so times it by um, 1 plus r, 0 0.07 over 12, and then put that to the power of t, 264. Right, so if I plug that into a calculator, that will give me the top. So I'm just going to do that first. That's the top of the fraction. Um, five, six, seven. Oops, six, seven thousand times one plus zero point zero seven over twelve. Uh, to the power of 264 and that gives me on the top um, uh, 1, 5, 3, 5, 9, point two, five, seven about. Okay, so that's what we get at the top of the fraction. And now we'll do the bottom of the fraction which is 1 plus r to the power of t minus 1. So I'm going to go 1 plus 0 0.07 over 12. That's 1 plus r. Put that to the power of t, to the power of 264, and then subtract 1. And that would be the bottom. So let's do that. Um, parenthesis. 1 plus... the power of 264, and then subtract 1. And I get three point, all this stuff, right? And actually, in my calculator, what I could do, uh, and I'll just write that out anyway, but I should get uh, 
four three seven you know six six so you can type that in divide it it'll be fine but in the calculator I'm actually going to do this I'm going to go up select the 15,000 number press enter then I'm going to hit divide then I'm going to go up select the 3.64 number hit enter and now it'll put that over the 15,000 over the 3.6 and then press enter and now it's 421521 right 421521 right that's that's my exact answer right uh, but in lay person's terms i mean approximately 4200 a month which isn't bad and remember you'll get social security on top of that and possibly other things if you if you've got everything but so my goodness if you save a half million for retirement you're in good shape you're you're fine you're gonna have a great time um, so anyway um, yeah let me know if you need help or anything